Welcome back to Manor and Cross New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today? And can I just say, start off with, to start off this episode, ah, <laughs> the version 2.0 free update was um, teased, or like I, I suppose basically the entire thing was shown on the Nintendo or Animal Crossing Direct today. It is incredible <laughs> is, is all i can say it has over delivered compared to what i expected i predicted just brewster and maybe cap'n and perhaps they're gonna throw in some of the farming stuff as well there is a lot of content coming in 2.0 um so go watch out right now if you want if you're interested in animal crossing if not i'm gonna talk about it basically now this thing we're gonna i'm gonna watch through uh the trailer and uh basically see what happens so uh hello everyone right now in fawn hard it's 3 38 p.m on friday october 15 2021 version really news today no isabel there's big news with version 2.0 free update and by the way that's not all that happened but that's spoilers if you haven't seen it yet it's incredible <laughs> just utterly utterly incredible i, I just realized that the, the trailer i've got on here is not um it's not the one which also includes the super new thing which is of course uh, happy home paradise which is basically happy home academy but now on animal crossing so uh basically i'm, I'm gonna try and walk around and try and consciously um do some of these um <laughs> nook mile mission things because we're gonna need uh, a lot of nook miles <laughs> is, is basically what i say uh but forgive me if i if i don't do particularly anything correctly because it's going to be rather difficult for me to <laughs> consciously think about what i'm thinking so i'm going to start, start the 2.0 trailer and this is basically i'm going to continuously pause for it and come on on what's going on because that's crazy so you know I, I didn't record my reaction maybe i should have but it's not very interesting but it starts off showing um brewster's um sorry the roost which is now in the top left corner of uh, the Animal Crossing Museum with blabbers. And by the way, it looks uh, fantastic. It looks so lovely. I just noticed there's actually photos on the wall near the beginning. You can see KK Cider, so you can see what it was like in Wild World. You've got a picture of um, Brewster and blabbers showing their old friends. I can't tell, even maybe if I maximize the screen, I can't tell what this thing on my right is. Oh, is that the roost from New, um, not New Horizons, from New Leaf, when it had its own separate building, perhaps? But basically, his his little cafe now looks uh, fantastic, and I was like, oh, look, there's a little amiibo bone as well, or whatever as well. But the cafe, to be fair, is exactly the same as it was in the previous one. So, uh, not vi not visually, visually supremely upgraded, but so far it looks basically the same. You get a cup of coffee from Brewster, he drinks it. Presumably, they've added back in also the thing where you can be like, oh, you know, drink it now, and you'll be like, no thanks, and he slowly freaks out more and more <laughs> as you keep refusing to drink it. Um, but it looks like the space where you can talk to Brewster uh, again over the counter. If you don't know, in New Leaf, I, I think it, no, not New. Yeah, I think it was just a New Leaf. It might have been in the other ones as well. You could talk to um, Brewster and give him uh, your your gyro your gyroids as storage, um, and that was basically your museum. Except for they weren't on display. It was just basically a huge storage, and he could take duplicates of it as well. Hopefully, this time, I think. I don't know if they will, but I hope they do sort of change it up a little bit so it becomes a bit more like a, a decorative element which you can have going on and have a gyroids on display. By the way, new gyroids look adorable. <laughs> Instead of all just looking like Lloyd and all like totem poles, they all, all have seemingly like unique designs and the sounds look so much more pleasing. Okay, and this part, Isabel walks in, people can now visit the roost while you're there. So, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if you can still get a part-time job, it, it doesn't look like it anymore, but then come over and visit. You can use the amiibo phone if you've got the amiibo cards or the amiibo uh, character uh, model things to actually invite people over. I've only got Digby, but perhaps at some point <laughs> I should actually get get on it and actually get them start buying some of the amiibos as I see fit. Um, apparently bit of it, some of the NPCs can give her an NPC guest as well. Bruce is watching us drink coffee. I, d I don't really know what's going on with that. He's also got Maybe you can get some coffee to go at that point because that's what you could do in New Leaf. You can get all your friends over to your town. There's eight spaces. You can all drink a, a cup of coffee together. It, it all just looks amazingly cute. It's basically the entire thing has been upgraded and everything is fully fleshed out. Cap'n is now here. Hold on. Is that guitar a new, a new furniture item? And I'm always trying to keep a lookout on some new furniture items that are better. By the way, there's new furniture items and new villagers, which is crazy. And I'll try and point them out in the trade as I go along. So now we've... See this villager walking across to the dock. I think our guitar is new, and I don't remember the stack of books looking like that. Unless you can customize the stack of books. I've never actually tried now, I think about it. Uh, but that's possible. We've got Cap'n just lazing here on the boat, and he actually sings his sea shanties as per usual. He's got a nice little motor. 
but it seems to be about the same as New Leaf. You can cost a thousand miles to go to a new Nook Mile uh, Islands, it seems. Although they're not, they're, they're different Nook Mile Islands. I guess they're more like Kappen Islands. They're called Kappen Boat Tours. Of course, that, that's incredibly exciting, <laughs> to say the very least. And these new islands that look crazy, some of them. The first one that they show off is, is like this jungle island where you can get these vines, which are basically permanent ladder fixtures, which you can use to place down at places and climb uh, to climb up cliffs. So we can actually get rid of these staircases in front of our home and actually replace them with ladders now, because that's spoilers, a thing which is revealed later. You can get ladders to climb up cliffs permanently. Isn't that insane? You can pick these up. There's also what looks to be glowing weeds. So if you want natural lighting, you can put those down instead of previously the only thing I suppose you had before being like um, Firefly <laughs> models. I, I can't think of anything that would that has natural lighting. Uh, let's see, we need to buy things. What's a deep sea diving? Okay, uh, you can find mysterious islands at different times which um, have different types of day and different weather and different um, seasons, which is amazing. So you you know, you can, might be able to find a summer island if you missed one of the summer fishes or something like that and you might have a chance to fish up then. And you, you can go at night time now to see shooting stars, which is incredibly useful. Oh, hello. I didn't notice this um, dropped item here. Photopia has now been expanded and has now included the campsite, which was included in one of the later updates to New Leaf, which I never actually participated in because I stopped playing New Leaf by that point. And not for any reason that New Leaf got boring, it's why I got busy. Harriet is here. Harriet has joined um, uh, Harvey and <laughs> she looks incredible. <laughs> it's all I can say to that, you, you can you can sound, hear how excited I am for this entire thing. This is amazing. Um, but yeah, Harriet's here. The campsite is basically what seems to kind of be like the city from Let's Go to the City, where basically you can now, if you pay enough money, you can get permanent fixtures for um, so, certain uh, weekly visitors to come and visit the entire time. So all the weekly visits can now get. Uh, you're not allowed to leave this island, Ruin. <laughs> Stay ring clean. But all of. Uh, the weekly visitors seem to have a campsite here. At least we saw Sahara, we saw Leif, Kix, Labelle, um, Red, and some others, I think. Audi's not here. Oh, there, there you are, Audi, which is good. Um, including some new ones, including Katrina. Hold on, see, you got Kix, Red, you got Leif in the back. Uh, we've seen Sahara. So you can basically have the weekly visitors there every single day. Uh, I, I don't know if they can also visit as well, the main island. I assume they can. <laughs> or... Uh, or maybe, perhaps, hold on, it might be the main rotation would probably just be then Gulliver, Gulliver, Flick, CJ, and Label. Um, they will appear one of each of these five days, and the others you can visit here every single day, I assume, and get new things. Who's our visitor for today? It's not red. <laughs> and did we have, we didn't have a visitor in the, the main town square, did we? I don't think we did. I, I, I honestly can't remember, and it's going crazy. Cyrus and Reese are now back. Instead of just being uh, here for the wedding event, you can now actually customise new furniture items of them with new customisation options, which you couldn't before, including customising Nook Mile um, items and ready-made furniture, as it's called. Katrina's here. She can tell your fortune. She's got new animations and everything. It looks crazy. She's got her own little like, sort of caravan tent. I've got Tortimer's here. Um, take some account. Tortimer's just for storage on my island, it seems probably because you can buy things. Harry can now give you new hairstyles and teach you how to do these new hairstyles for you. So we've got new fancy hairstyles coming. That's incredibly exciting. So the whole campground looks pretty awesome. It's basically the city, it seems like, from Let's Go to the City. Or perhaps equivalent being High Street in New Leaf. Um, and I don't think it was in any other previous versions. I assume it's kind of similar to the campsite in New Leaf, but the one I remember in New Leaf, I feel like you get like visiting villagers who come and go. It's not so much about um, basically being a shopping area. Uh, Nook Inc. has now got new things to support your iron knife, so new things to spend Nook Mile points on, which of course we're gonna, which is why we're farming up right now to get new stuff to buy, uh, to buy it all out if we possibly can. I'm just trying to look, see if there's anything new here that has slipped by. Uh, but gr group morning aerobic exercises is back. I'm not sure if this was a thing since the original Animal Crossing. I, I honestly can't remember if it was in New Leaf or not. But basically, you can go to the town square and do these morning aerobic exercises with everyone uh, to sort of warm up your day. It was It's a common thing in Japan. It was like radio exercise things, which is where it's from. It's not as common in the West, I don't think. But you can actually do it along with with the entire gang, either using your joysticks. Or you can actually apparently use your Joy-Cons and use motion controls and going on. I, I must say, Bon Bon is incredibly behind everyone else <laughs> in doing these aerobic exercises. So I don't really know what's going on in this preview thing. In the trailer, and that looks adorable. NPCs can even come along and exercise along with you. Um, what, what's the next one? Oh yeah, ordinances are back from New Leaf. Were they in 
let's go to a city. I can't remember if anyone. Let's go to a city. Ordinances were things that you can establish on your island, which makes everyone basically behave slightly differently according to your exact wishes. So the beautiful island ordinance, if I remember, this is like flowers. Well, okay. In New Leaf, it made it so flowers can no longer wilt and villagers would often try and water flowers. And I think it increased the chance of hybrids um, appearing when you started breeding them. Uh, I... Flowers can no longer wilt in this version, so I'm not really sure what would happen. I, I guess it means that villagers will probably be more like it, more likely to water flowers and... Uh, hold on, what, what fish is that? More likely to uh, water flowers and also simultaneously they're more likely to get rarer hybrids or something or like mutations happen when you breed when you breed them i'm not quite sure how that works because in, in, in new horizons the breeding mechanics of flowers are different early bird and night outlook i think are kind of straightforward early bird means all the villages and all the shops are open earlier and shut earlier night hours the inverse everything shuts later and opens later at the same time so it's good if that's how it aligns up with your, your schedule say like you work a graveyard shift or something you might prefer one or the other the bell boom i can't remember i think this is like when you sell things they sell for ridic for a lot more and hot items back in retail in the New Leaf one, there was always like more more hot items which sold for more, which sold for double price. So uh, basically, that's the one we're probably going to be doing the entire time. Um, mainly because I don't need to be early bed on night hour one. <laughs> Luckily for my um, my waking hours, it lines up. Uh, the beautiful island one I don't particularly need because I already have e excessive amounts of flowers. Uh, of which I don't even know what to do with them. And Bell Boom is probably the one we'll keep things on just to get more money, I suppose. <laughs> Not that we need particularly any more. But the ordinances are back, and that's super exciting. Uh, Tom Nook has now got new stuff for his construction centre, including uh, new housing designs for Michael Visit. There only seems to be four at the moment, but new exterior options, which, um, you know, hopefully now you can actually fit your designs a bit more. Uh, I assume there might be more different options in like the roofing, the doorway and the, the mailbox options, but we can't see. You can now expand your storage up to a maximum of 5,000 by purchasing in, up, in storage up capacity upgrades. So 5,000 is insane because currently we're on 2,400. That's more than double <laughs> what we've got currently. I actually just choked because I'm speaking too much. So now we can actually keep all the different customization options. Uh, the Nook Mile, I didn't get to pause this during the live stream, so now we can actually see what new things you can buy with the Nook Mile service. But Island Life 101 service is basically just like advice and hi hints and tips service. That's more for new players, I think. Probably not so useful if um, you're like a veteran of this game. Be a Chef DIY recipes, that's because now you can cook food. That's a new crafting um, menu option that's been unlocked. You basically, you can now harvest and farm food. By the way, I don't know where we're going to put the farming. Uh, I thought since the only farming we've had, we put them um, on the right side of the island because that's that fits an awesome like harvest theme. I think we'll put them over here and we'll make a sort of like a garden of Eden quote quote thing in this because you know in this part of the island is meant to represent life. So I think by putting like stuff we can grow here and farming items that kind of makes sense, <laughs> and we can make it like a banquet feast. We can make it like Valhalla, I suppose. Pro camera app, it gets talked about in a bit later, as well custom design patterns, pro decorating license, custom fencing in a flash, um, new reactions, pro construction license, top four, yeah, these all get to spoken about, so, you know, there's nothing too bad, nothing really to come on until we get, get to them, get, so this is the cooking thing, you, you can now harvest things. You can now grow things. There's a huge amount of recipes, might I say. Like, even in this small display here, there's at least, let's see, one, two, three, there's at least 20. And that's only like one third of the way down. So there's going to be like 60 recipes, I, I guess, which is going to be a pain to unlock them all. But you can now grow things like wheat, tomatoes, uh, potatoes. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Sugarcane, carrots, and of course, pumpkins, as per usual. Uh, they look to all have the same mechanic as the pumpkin things, where you had to they very grown bunches of one, two, or three, depending on how much you watered them uh, beforehand. I'm just trying to see if there's any new furniture items, the furniture items around the place. It does not look like it in this little display, but you can see some of the new housing options. Um, you can now cook things in your house. You know, use a stonework kitchen, which is incredible because obviously you need a location to actually cook these things. It's basically the same as crafting, except for under the guise of something else is cooking. You can put these things on display and they look delicious. I don't know why that sandwich is steaming. You can eat them to, again, oh, I didn't notice that. When you eat different meals, um, like this person just ate pizza and it counted to five out of 10 of the, the, the hunger meter, I suppose, which you can use to uh, cut down trees and dig up things. A pro decorating license. Oh, oh yeah, first thing, you've got ceiling decorations now, so you can actually have hanging lamps, hanging shelves, hanging plants, all that good stuff. 
hanging from the ceiling. That's incredibly exciting. Uh, you can also, of course, move them around as you want. You can have accent walls, so basically that means you can now set different wallpapers or different patterns onto the walls of your house. So you can have each wall being a different one, I assume. A pro construction license. You can now have two more, two more bridges and inclines. I, I, st uh, I think that's two, two more of each, so up to a maximum of ten. Uh, by the way, not, not a huge increase, but you know, still appreciated. But I, I don't need them. <laughs> But other people do. Saying that, we do need to build that bridge at now, a bottom right at some point. We just never got around to finishing decorating around it. Uh, new friends recipes, which some of them can be customised as well. You've got a playground um, fencing. You've got a block fencing. You've got corrugated iron. You've got la large lattice, which looks really nice. We're definitely going to use a log ward, which also looks nice, I think. Bam green bamboo and bamboo slats, which also look really nice. Log fencing. This is incredible. Oh, you know what? I should be looking for new furniture items for these entire things. I bet they've hidden something. Uh, that looks all like old items. Does this look new? I think those bonsai things were old. I, can't, I honestly can't remember. But this person's island looks crazy good. Is that a cement mixer? I think I was in the game before. Uh, that looks all like new stuff. I, I don't know if that shelving in front of a, the cafe fence is new. That, I don't know what that thing on the right there is. Or the log fencing. That might be new, I can't tell. Uh, the bamboo stuff. That, that looks... Or, or like stuff we've already got. Log fencing. I think I think that's all old stuff. Oh, Christmas presents. Oh, how to get that? You're you're best of today. Um, Christmas present lights. That might be new. I, I I honestly can't remember. But frozen fencing, very useful. Um, custom fencing in a flash. So that's one of the Nookmar upgrades you had to actually purchase. I suppose to actually customize them. Pro camera app. Are there any new furniture items? No. Uh, you can basically use your camera now and go into selfie mode, where it basically follows um, your your character as they walk around, and your villagers will react and see that you're taking a picture and, <laughs> and pose. You can put it down as a tripod, take a picture of yourself. So you can be the camera as well. So it's basically now you can take pictures from like a an island, a villager level viewpoint, except for instead of having something really high up. Custom design patterns. Oh my god, <laughs> so much to talk about. Uh, the custom design patterns you can now use as actual design patterns, so you can wear them, you can put them around as designs, and of course use them on the walls, as they demonstrate here. <laughs> uh, more hairstyles include have been added, including ones which um, Harriet can teach you, and you can now do yourself once she teaches you, I assume. You have new reactions. Uh, so let's see. Eight new reactions, I suppose. Almost will. Let's see what we got. We got the double wave. They got the the grooving to the music. They got what looks like stretches. Uh, they've got the ears open, like I'm listening sort of thing. They got a star pose with a camera. Uh, sort of pose. I don't know what these last three are. I think one, the very left one is like anticipation, like looking for something, and the top left one is like flexing, I suppose. I'm not sure what this bottom left one is. There's like weird pink bubbles behind it. These are definitely new to New Horizons. But that's very exciting. We don't, we don't just show what those last three ones are. In the video, unfortunately. Oh my god, there's so much to talk about. 20 minutes. Uh, Island Life 101, again, it's just a hint system. Not particularly useful if you're a veteran, but useful if you're new and you're not exactly sure what else you could be doing. Uh, you've got more Nook Mile ticket islands, including new fountain, new lamps, uh, plaza, balloon. Like, some of these things aren't particularly useful for the designs we got going on on Island, but the park fountain, definitely going to use. So we could have two different fountains around the place instead of reusing one. Um, uh, come on, there's no way this is his phone, right? Because the phone isn't that, that quick. Uh, now, uh, if your pockets are full, there's a new item you can put down called a storage shed, which you can now use to deposit things directly into your storage, <laughs> which I, I'm pretty sure existed in previous versions of the game, but I can't quite recall. So now instead of everything just being a regular old uh, a changing station, you can now use it as an actual proper storage. You can now, you've got like a Nook Mile ATM, which you can put down, or just a regular ATM, I suppose, which you can put down outside of a town centre. Other new features to Island Living. KK Ciders got new songs, which they display, and I guess we'll have a quick look through them. This is going to be a long episode. You've got Chill Wave. KK... Bashman, I don't know what Bashman is, KK Break, which just looks wild, KK Dreenho, don't know, KK Dub, which I don't know what that is, KK Few, which is a few, KK Hip Hop, it scrolls down, you scroll down, scroll down, because there's my favourite one, <laughs> I don't know what that one is, KK Lovers, KK Polka, 
KK Vocaloid, I've always known as KK Lloyd, and KK Slapkey. I don't know what most of those genres are, to be honest, but KK Vocaloid is hilarious, I must say. You have a music box to play your your songs, and it's got a display of a, a triangular prison hanging a uh, plant pot that you can now get, I believe. I think that's new, at least. <laughs> I don't record it. Oh my god, so many things. You, you can now get gyroids, of course, in the game. Um, what happens is you have to bury like a, a gyroid fragment, I believe. And then if you water it like a plant, eventually it will grow into a, a lovely gyroid the next day. I think they appear after it's raining as well. After it's been... After it's rained, <laughs> maybe? I can't remember. I got the video muted, so I can't even hear it right now. The gyroids look adorable. They're much smaller now, so they're like tabletop sort of items. They all look like wooden dolls and make fantastic little sounds, which I'd recommend you go listen to. You can customise them as well to, of course, fit the sort of aesthetic you got going on in your room. Oh my word. Uh, Nook's Cranny, they've got new items, including the new uh, hanging wall items. They've got some wild, wacky stuff like they've issued an amazing machine. I think the computer monitor setup one is also different. I don't record it. You can craft a new tool, which is uh, a, basically a, a permanent ladder. Um, sure, release this. We need, we need to sell some things. So you can put a permanent like ladder to cl climb up cliffs. You can customise these in different colours, and they seem to have different styles, from what I could tell. <laughs> That's been going on. Um, you can you purchase this from... Sorry, I, mean, I, I don't have a brain power right now to think about these sort of things. You can purchase them, of course, um, from Nook's Cranny. Uh, there is... Now, if you have like half, half a square gaps in your home, which you can now squeeze through and navigate and travel tight spaces. New items. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of these are new items apart from the food items in this area. I can't quite recall. I think there's a new kitchen counter. <laughs> the one with the shelves on the top. Where you can... But I'm not entirely sure. Otherwise, it's mostly ironwood stuff. Froggy chair is now finally in the game. <laughs> You can navigate tight spaces, so you can basically put things half a square away from each other, and it's not a big deal anymore because now you've got room to actually um to squeeze by and actually um like sit down in front of things. Oh wait, we actually got the communicator at some point. I didn't even realise. <laughs> uh, now it's just showing like a tour of the islands, being like, oh, I hope this new stuff is good. And you've made friends with your villagers. Now you can do what you finally did in previous ones. You can go over and visit your other villager friends. They can randomly visit you. You can do something else <laughs> that comes after this, but I can't remember exactly what. I don't. I, I can't even remember what goes on. What they're saying at this part, but it's probably like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. There, there's some new ladder styles, and two new villagers. There's, by the way. Tons of new villagers. I think it's like, at least like 12 or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, this yellow dog here is someone who used to be uh, the original Animal Crossing, like E plus or whatever. This this blue bunny is, as, I, far as, as far as I can tell, completely new. So yeah, new villagers. Uh, Captain's just chilling here. Free update available November 5th, 2021. How exciting. But that was not all. That's happening in the direct. Basically, there's a new content update coming. <laughs> a paid DLC. So this 2.0 update is the last free update. But there's new paid content update coming, which is basically Happy Home Designer rolled up into New Horizons now. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And we're going to go check it out right now. So you can go see that trailer, Happy Home Paradise, as it's called. I'm going to watch this in double speed because there's not as much. It's called Going to Work, <laughs> which is very exciting. Um, which is basically Happy Home Designer, which is basically you customise um, rooms and layouts and housing things. Uh, to the specifications of different villagers, different animals. So now, effectively, you can kind of have more villagers, sort of, by basically having places which you can, um, if, it, if they come to the happy home place and they have a, a resort, and um, they come to a resort and base a, basically they're like, I want you to design me a new holiday home. You can effectively have new villagers. Uh, two new NPCs, Lottie's back, and there's uh, a monkey called Shinto. I can't remember what the, the manatee, I think it's called. <laughs> But she's here to run the business. Uh, there's a lot of new items. This rabbit looks new. These rabbit statues look new. Hold on. I'm trying to pick pick out all the new items. Um, is that urn new? I think that urn's new. <laughs> it's, it's a bit hard to tell because I don't have encyclopedic knowledge of all these items. Uh, I think there's, I think we, these rabbit statues are new, but I, I'm not quite sure. 
This other stuff look, all looks old. You're in love. You're gonna give it away? Anyway, time for a donation. Uh, uh, any new furniture items out? There was a hanging airplane, that's cool. Help bear, dreams come true. You can go around, it's the same as Happy Home Acad um, Designer, I think, where you go around listening to your villagers and you see what they want and then they give you certain items that they want to see in their new place. So you pick out a location on the island and it looks like you can have uh, one village on every single new place in this land. So that's, you can have 49 villages or locations. Or there's 49 locations of which you can build a resort. Oh, I guess 48 of them you can actually build a resort on. To actually give a villager a holiday home. I don't know if they're there permanently. And I don't know if you can have more than one on one place. But that basically means you can have a ridiculous amount of villagers now. Which I'm so happy about. Even if I'm only temporary. That's super awesome. So you can choose a location. And you'll be like, this is exactly the location I want to build this thing for you. You, you design everything to their specifications. You just have to include their specif specified items. Like, uh, if they start off with a few items which are guaranteed, then the game recommends you some other items which help match your aesthetic. But everything else is completely up to you, which is super exciting. You can de decorate things exactly as you want, and it seems like um, the decorating functions have been upgraded. Why? Because now you can decorate inside, you can decorate outside as well. And you can build fences, you can plant uh, trees and flowers, I think, and pathing. So much easier than you could uh, back on your actual island. Which is super awesome. Uh, you can change the time of day. You can change the weather. You can change the season. And that's lovely. And they'll just sort of li live there. <laughs> live there for a while. I think you can snapshot each of our items. Uh, each of our housing items. Uh, places as well. And they sort of just like. Um, you can visit them at any time. That looks like a new teddy bear. And maybe that owl clock is new. Um, in Doc's room. Uh, anything new in Lopez's room? Uh, not that I can tell. Hans' room. That looks like odd stuff, apart from, the, of course, the new ramen item. Um, you can actually change the sizes of our houses up to a 10 by 10 if you want a really, really big house. This new um, thing in Butcher's, Butcher's house, uh, there's sort of like a um, balcony with, not balcony, like a um, wooden outpost <laughs> with like flower vines over top. That looks new to me, but I can't quite remember. You can now have partition walls and columns and count countertops, high tops and high counters and low counters to sp spruce up um, other people's houses, which you can also bring back to your island. Oh my god, crazy. Uh, I don't know if any of these are new items. Uh, you can change the lighting, the colour of the lighting and um, how bright or dark it is in these areas. You can change the ambient noises to benefit the places you created. You can polish things to give them new particle effects which make them shine and also possibly new other effects as well, like for example they've shown butterflies coming out when you polish flowers. You get paid <laughs> in Pokey, which you can use to purchase items in the Pokey shop or whatever, which are items which are rare for you to get back in your Nook Mile Island. <laughs> oh my god, so many things. Lifestyle ideas, what, what even is this? I can't remember what this is. You can remodel, so you can vi visit, um, as you get new items, you can revisit the old homes that you've decorated before and upgrade them. You can Select two villagers and have them be become roommates and live together and you create some sort of like specified room which basically um, combines their two ideas together. There's design, there's facilities, there's like actual um, facilities around the island which you can design for including a school and a hospital if I remember. Uh, a restaurant as well which you can decorate for yourself no one needs to live there but your villagers will, who live around in your resort can come randomly and visit and use and act out in these in these places. So that's, that's the, um, the examples I gave so this is a school. I've got. I can't even play this game anymore because <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy to at my trailer. You can design restaurants. You can design a hospital. Oh my god! And they have multiple rooms depending on how you want to lay things out. And your villagers will come and enjoy it and actually act in role. <laughs> like Sherbert's actually acted as a waiter. Vivian acted as uh, Vi Vivian acted as a teacher. I didn't check if there was any new villagers. Um, none of these villagers look new in the teaching area. This monkey I think is new in, in the restaurant. I don't recognise him. Um, I don't think any of these people in the, the restaurant are new, but there's a new rhino. This rhino character was in the original Animal 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 Forest, I think. I can't remember her name, but I looked at her and I was like, who are you? I've never seen you before. Uh, but yeah, you can snapshot. Also, that new goat lady, that demon goat lady. <laughs> you can snapshot uh, people's vacation homes and you can still visit them, your, your previous clients, whenever you want. Shinso, 
That's Shin uh, Shino, sorry, is the new villager, and Nico is the name of a monkey. And I'm like, ah, oh, you can visit other people's like village homes that they've designed and you can favorite them just like designs as well and you can see exactly how they've decorated everything and it looks amazing and i'm just like ah you can use amiibo cards and amiibo <laughs> villages so you can invite them to your resort specifically if you got them i don't have any amiibo cards so i can't particularly do that and with the amiibos you if they're npcs you can design homes for the npcs like we've got isabel here we've got timmy and tommy oh my word you connect with your home island so you can bring the things back that you learnt from your happy home designing <laughs> for your own island, including partition walls, encounters, and pillars, so you no longer have to use the climbing wall and face backwards. You can have lighting, you can have the soundscapes, you can polish things in your own home. Oh my god! Basically, uh, you can invite residents, your, your own residents on your island, to visit your archipelago by buying them chocolates, and they'll <laughs> look around, and they ask you to build your own summer resort. You can remodel your residents' homes and their interior decorating here on this island after you've <laughs> done it enough back in resort they show just basically tons of villagers hanging out with each other which is my dream uh, there's tons of new um, toy items it seems what? what what just happened about it what did you ask asking for I don't know but there's new toy toy furniture items it seems <laughs> or playground there's some of the glowing weeds that you can see there's new statues and pillars and columns and relics there's a new what looks like a scarlet macaw here, opposite um, the rabbit, <laughs> the new rabbit, that might even be a new line on the back, I can't remember, I don't think so. Oh my god, it's crazy, it only costs $25, I don't know how much it is in pounds, I'm going to assume that's around £18, pounds. but it'll probably be like £20 pounds or something. For a paid DLC, £18 pounds exactly, I don't know how I got that exactly right. Ah! It's also available as part of a Nintendo Switch Online and Expansion Pack membership. Wow. <laughs> So, hold on, $80 for the expansion pack Nintendo Online membership is £58, which is up to 8 people. Hold on, I'm just trying to do the math right now. £58 divided by 8, so that's £7.25 per person. Is that worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's permanent, if you have it as a finger. Oh my god! <laughs> it's essentially me freaking out, watching that trailer, looking at all the new update stuff, and basically going, what the heck? This update is huge. There's also other stuff they said as well. Like you can get new, the new amiibo cards is coming out in series five of amiibo cards showing people who haven't got stuff before. Like the new villagers like Sherb, Megan, Dom, Audi, Sid, Judy, Raymond and Renee. There's uh, uh, the new villagers to new, new horizons who didn't have cards before, but they showed some of our, the new, new villagers which are coming. Like Wardell and Nico are the two new NPCs who are working with Lottie. You got Sasha, I can't even see what we see, say. Sasha, who seems to be some sort of rabbit. Ione, who's a squirrel. Tiansheng, which is a monkey. I uh, assume meant to be based on Monkey King. Shino, which is some sort of Oni goat. Marlo, a hamster. Petri, a mouse. A scientist looking mouse. Cephalobot, a robotic octopus. New, new octopus character. Quinn, I can't really tell, it's some sort of gothic eagle. Chabwick, just looks like an, a sort of a jockey star penguin. Zoe, looks like a. An anteater in a bear costume, which I don't really understand. Ace just looks like a generic sort of um, bird character. Rio is sort of like a Scarlet macaw esque ostrich, I don't know. Fret, just like yellow dog. Azalea, Azalea, a, a flower, fairy looking hippo. Roswell, kind of looks like a marble cake alligator. And Faith, who's a very like, <laughs> I don't know, Hawaiian esque koala. So you get new card packs of amoeba cards and that sort of things, if that's what you particularly want. I don't collect the amoeba cards because I don't have them. But perhaps I should start getting them. Ah, and they finally end off with Celeste and the roost. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else new in these sort of things. You can talk to Wardell, it seems like, and just chill out with him. But oh my god, there's a new update coming, and it's huge. And then they have his new paid DLC, which is just Happy Home Designer added on to New Horizons. This is incredible. I don't even know what to say, except for ridiculously incredible. So thank you, Nintendo, for the update. It took a while, but it's going to be worth it. In the end, it's coming out. When's it coming out? I, I can't remember when it's even coming out. Fifth of November, I think it said. Ah, ah, ah. When's released it? Fifth of November. So, oh my God, we got to get things ready basically. <laughs> Until then, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try and basically farm up a little nook map points. We're gonna make space for the farming locations, and I think we might spruce up our island a little bit. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. So basically, <laughs> over other days, thankfully, of just talking for half an hour about absolute nonsense and Animal Crossing. We can actually do stuff in Animal Crossing now and actually play the game. 
If you if you miss me just talking about absolute nonsense for half an hour, I'm sure it will come back eventually once we check out everything that there is to check out in version 2.0. But there seems to be a lot of content, seeing as we have 48 different spots of, of homes to customise in the resort in the happy home um, paradise area. I'm so unbelievably happy. <laughs> but basically, what, what do you think of the new update? And sharing your hype with me <laughs> and what you're looking forward most to. I'm, I'm looking forward most to the paradise area where all the villagers can sort of hang out together. I'm so excited about that. So anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm lightheaded now with how long I've just been talking for about 35 minutes and that flew by. So we'll round off this episode here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Day Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, uh, shares, all greatly appreciated. Join me Day Darling Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now, basically. <laughs> I'm so happy.